Hi, I'm Wahid Insham, and this is my friend. Hello, I'm Omar. Now, today we're going to teach you all about how to do free driving checks. Now, everybody needs a vehicle, am I right, Omar? Yeah. yeah, it makes it easier to get around from A to B, but do we really know how to check our cars? Are they really safe? And in this video, we'll teach you how to do that. We'll teach you how to inspect it. I will be presenting on how to check the exterior of the car as well as the engine. What, Umar? Well, I'll be checking the interior functionality of this car. Yeah. So, just stay tuned and we hope this video is All informational right. so for you. So, let's begin with the exterior. Now, when you want to start with the exterior inspections, start from the front because it's the easiest. And whether or not you want to continue with the right side or the left side, it's completely up to you. It doesn't matter. I prefer to go that side. Okay, but first, always start from the top of the car. Now, you always want to see whether the windscreen is in good condition. Make sure everything is smooth, there aren't any cracks, no damage of the Because you don't want anything to obstruct your view when you're driving. Next, check your wiper. Now, let's pull it out a bit like this. Check, is the wiper soft? Is it hard? You have to make sure it's soft. The moment it becomes hard, there's a chance that it might damage the windscreen. And you don't want that to happen when you're driving. Next, check the headlights. See, the headlights, of course, they serve the obvious function of lighting up your wheel when it's dark or it's raining. So you have to make sure that it's all in good shape. There's no cracks, there's no damage on the bulbs. Check both the main light and the signal light. If there's fog lights, like on this car, also check those as well. Because those are important when it's raining. And of course, finally check the bumper. This bumper is the one thing that might save you if you get into an accident. So make sure it's tight, so it doesn't move about, it's secure. Now, we can move on to the next side. Now, when doing this side, it's the same thing. You start from the top. So you check the, wind, the side windscreens. Do you have any cracks? These are solid, so these are safe. Now, if you come closer, you see this side. You check the side mirrors. See if there's any cracks, see if there's any damages. Because this is important as well. This shows you what's behind you, which is really important when you're trying to overtake somebody. Mm. Then, make sure you also check your tires. I'm going straight to the back because it's easier, but make sure you also check the front tires as well. You have to make sure they're solid, just enough air. Make sure the patterns here, they're still in good shape. They're not uh, already faded, if you will. Then check these wheels. Are the bolts tight? Is the wheel secure? Make sure that is. Check the cap as well because you don't want the air to come out. So, that's done with this side. Now we move on to the rear. Now the rear again, let's start from the top. Check the windscreen. No cracks, no damages. Pretty much secure. If there's a rear wiper, same thing. Check whether or not it's soft or hard. It has to be soft. And of course, check the tail lights. These are important because it signals whether or not you're in front of a person or not. And it also determines whether you're going to be to the left or the right because the signals on the back is what people are going to see. And then of course, finally, check the bumper. Same thing, like the front one. Make sure it's secure. It doesn't move about. Is that okay? So this car has the exterior test. There are eight different components, but the easy way to remember them, four on the left, four on the right, meaning there are four important components that need inspection on the left, and another four on the right. So let's begin on the left side. Now, on the left side, things you need to check, the lubricant oil. Now, lubricant oil is important because you don't want the pistons to be banging next to the engine block, because that will cause a lot of friction and it will damage the engine. So you want to make sure there's lubricant there. I can't pull this thing out now because <laughs> this car was just driven here a few minutes ago and I'd probably burn my hands if I did so. <laughs> but what you basically do is you take the dipstick out. You're supposed to take a piece of tissue and then wipe all the oil out. You put it back in, uh, wait for a few, few moments, then take it out. There should be a minimum and maximum meter at the end of the dipstick. Make sure the oil is one, yellow, and two, it reaches the maximum level. If this is at the minimum part, it needs some filling. So when you, then you put it back in, obviously. Then check, check the brake fluid. Brake fluid is important because what's a car without brakes? You need to stop. So, again, um, yeah, yeah, there you go. Now I can uh, I'll open this up. Now, if you come closer, you can see the brake fluid. This is considered pretty low. It should be a bit higher. Um, but yeah, you just make sure that's enough. 
then obviously you close it back, you don't want to spill everything. Okay, then check this one, the washer fluid. Washer fluid is the water you use when you want to clean up your windscreen. Now it seems like something very simple, but this thing, yeah, as you can see it's pretty empty, that needs filling up. <laughs> this thing is supposed to clean the windscreen and that's important because say like if a bird comes by and then like it poops on your windscreen, that's going to obstruct your view and you don't want that to happen. So you want to always be prepared with wiper fluid. And then, uh, one more tiny detail, if you look closely inside the engine, okay, there should be like a tiny little belt there. Uh, if you come this side, see from here, you can see that the end of the belt there. Now the this is what you call the serpentine belt. Now the serpentine belt is important because it transfers energy from the engine towards all the other major parts of the car. You have to make sure that thing is tight so that so when you uh, feel it, it's quite secure. If it is very lenient and then you press it, it's very soft, it needs changes. Okay, now that's with this side done. Moving on to the right side. Now, first of all, check the battery. I mean, if the engine works fine but the battery is dead, of course that's not going to be good, right? But apart from checking whether it's alive or not, make sure these two terminals, they're in good shape. I mean, I don't have to be too detailed about that, you just see it for yourself, whether it's rusted, whether these things are loose. Of course, don't touch it without the rubber because that's dangerous. That's why I'm only touching this side and not touching that one. If the rubbers are off, I suggest you go to a shop, buy stuff, it's only a few bucks. Trust me, it's worth it. Next, check the hose. This car hose, it connects itself to the radiator, which gets really hot once you use it. Um, you just make sure there are no leaks, there are no holes, because you don't want that to happen, because the radiator keeps the engine cool. Then, of course, you have this, the main radiator. As it says there, never open when hot, so I'm not going to do that. Then the radiator water tank. Make sure this one's filled as well because that's water that they use to keep the engine cool. So that's everything about the engine bay. And now we're going to go into interior functionality. We will take over from there. So, hello again. Now uh, I'm going to tell you guys about the interior function of this car. It's also very important to check the, whether these functions are working or not. Okay, I'm going to start the engine now. Now, the engine is start. Now, let, uh, you, can, you guys can see the various lights over there. Now, I'm going to tell you about the functions of these lights. Then. Now, uh, in the interior functions, you just apply this formula, FT O BAT. Now, I'm going to tell you about the F, T, H, O, and BAT, uh, about these functions of uh, F, T, O, BAT. F is for fuel. You must have to check the fuel right there. Uh, F, I sign with the F. Now you have to check the fuel, whether there is fuel present in the car or not. Without the fuel, the car cannot be started. Now FT, T, T is for temperature of the car, right here. Now if the car has got too much temperature, the same thing happens, the car will not start. Or maybe it can burst your engine as well. FT and H. Let's go to H. Now H, H is for the handbrake. You guys can see the sign with exclamation mark right there. Oh, the, the sign with excla exclamation mark. Now, if I turn down the handbrake, the sign goes. But if I press it up again, the sign came back. Now, you have to check that when, when you're starting the car, the handbrake must have to be tight. And you can, you guys can observe this exclamation mark over here. Now, let's shift it to. Uh, the battery, uh, uh, F A F T whole battery, oil, oil. Now, you guys see this, this symbol right there, uh, the one right at the down. Okay, now, now that one is the engine oil signal. Now, the signal shows that there is oil present in the engine, so your engine can work smoothly. So you have to check that as well. Now let's go to bat, B E T bat. Now this bat is the battery of the car. The red, the red battery you guys can see in the middle, that shows that the battery is working and it's the, the functions over here, FT, Hobat, they're all working with these lights on. So you can get, you guys can observe when you guys can sit in the car, okay, starting now, the engine. Then you turn on your car like this, pass your seat belt, and there you go, you're all set and ready to go. 
in Dread as well. So we've reached the end of our video and we've presented to you the exterior, the engine and the interior. And we hope that whatever information we've given to you guys so far has been really useful and that you apply it in your everyday, everyday routine. Make sure you do it. Trust me, even though it takes time, it's definitely worth it. Right, Uma? Yep. It only takes a bit, a few minutes, and you can drive straight away after that. And with that, 